Father of our modern democracy and stability. He's done his part. We need to keep the flame going. We must not lose this democracy. We must behave well and not lose this democracy. It should last hundreds of years to come. The price paid for the achievement of this stability is too much to be thrown aside. I know you've worked with him, you've known him for all these years. What are the fondest memories that come to you right now? He speaks his mind boldly, without fear. He said, and I've told everybody, that you can do a positive defiance. And you must not just take anything at the face value. Sometimes we see ourselves agreeing and disagreeing with him. To err is man, that's his belief, and that's the man he has been. You can question him, he can question you. You can disagree with him, he can disagree with you. Life goes on. The how, ma one. how much of a loss, how much of a loss is this to you personally and to the NDC fraternity? I would say it's a big loss, but it's a big gain also. We have been called to the glory, we can't question God. But then, his legacy and who is actually is the largeness of his personality is unfolding now. And I believe that all of us must pray for a repose of his spirit with the mighty Lord whilst we do our best. Yeah, he has contributed too much to the history of Ghana. He was not there for the NDC. He was there for everybody. He was there for all this country. He loved everybody equally, whether you are in opposition or not. He speaks his mind. That's the kind of person we've lost. He also made sure that governance was done in transparency, honesty, accountability for everyone to see. He fought against the culture of silence. He wanted everybody to talk. When the culture of silence started creeping in, he campaigned against it. Before I let you go, this was a man who was larger than life. For some families, he was a tyrant. There are people who have better experiences of a man who led this country for many years. How do you respond to some of these people and the critics that, despite the good attributes you speak about, he was to some families, their devil? You know, I would say that The revolution of Ghana. Jerry Rada was the stabilizing force. It was a spontaneous action, and anything that occurred, he became the stabilizing force for everything. In fact, knowing him, left to him alone, there are other means he will use to deal with matters. But then, it's a revolution. Now, there could be unfortunate ones that might have passed through this, which is what I'm saying that the power to the people, the price was very, very, very expensive to everybody. There were some who must go. But then, who are we? We are women. Today we have a revolution. Those people should understand that their parents, all their brothers, all their sisters have also contributed their blood for what we have gotten now. And therefore we must maintain it together and be together as one people, one country, one nation, a common destiny. Let's not allow this to happen again. This thing called a revolution cannot happen two times in a country history. What Jerry John has done he recognized that, yes, there were some people who paid excessively 
for what might not have been done. But the journey was towards this time where we should all have um, a proper democracy with a functioning institutions. So what we should do right now is that let those people who are grieving fight for the institution to be stronger, independent, and transparent. In this way, we will chart a common cause for a common destiny.